Hey! Ready to become graphing pros? Today, we'll learn how to create and interpret graphs that show how kinetic energy depends on mass and speed. Grab your data, and let's turn numbers into powerful visual stories. We're tackling a big question, how do mass and speed affect kinetic energy? By the end of this tutorial, you'll graph your data to uncover patterns. Some are straight lines, and others curve dramatically. Here are the key terms. Linear trends. A straight line pattern, like mass versus kinetic energy. Exponential trends. A steep curve, like speed versus kinetic energy. Graphs help us see these relationships clearly, and they're a superpower for any scientist. Graphs aren't just for math class. They help us design safer cars, plan roller coasters, and even predict sports performance. Let's practice graphing like the pros who solve real-world problems every day. Let's start simple. Plot mass on the x-axis and kinetic energy on the y-axis. Mass. 1, 2, 3 kilograms. Energy. 5, 10, 15 units. Notice the straight line? This shows a linear trend. As mass doubles, so does kinetic energy. Now let's try speed versus kinetic energy. Speed. 2, 4, 6 meters per second. Energy. 8, 32, 72 units. The graph curves upward, an exponential trend. Doubling speed causes kinetic energy to quadruple. This is why speed makes such a big difference in motion. Finally, let's combine mass and speed. Imagine a 2 kg ball at 3 meters per second versus a 4 kg ball at 6 meters per second. Energy for 2 kg, 18 units. Energy for 4 kg, 144 units. This graph shows both linear and exponential trends. Engineers use similar graphs to design safer highways and faster roller coasters. Here's what you've learned. Graphs reveal energy patterns clearly. Mass causes linear increases in energy. Speed causes exponential increases in energy. Use these graphing skills to tackle your next experiment or even analyze energy in your favorite sports. Remember, graphs tell stories. What story will your data reveal? See you next time.